my name is Louise Fedotov Clements. I'm the co-founder of Format International Photography Festival, which we initiated in 2004. And um, I've been the director of the festival up until earlier this year, and now I'm the patron, still very much engaged. Um, but I'm also the uh, National International Curator of Contemporary Art for Forestry England, which works at the forefront of the intersection between climate crisis and um, contemporary art and forestry, of course. So the types of work that we're looking out for, as I said, all kinds of genres, all kinds of ways of working photography, whether it's live, performative, uh, installational, experiential, um, uh, in rectangles, in frames, or whatever way is purposeful for the, for the artwork itself and to tell the story in the best way possible. But we really want work that's unique to the artist in relation to your ideas and skills or your collaborations and your, your collective practice, if that's the way you work. Um, but it needs to be inspiring, arresting. Um, it can have subtle narrative via the concept of the images themselves or, this, or the series. It needs to be well edited. We can support with editing as well, and we often do that, and we, we have conversations with artists to, to help edit. But we really look for something that leaves a strong after image in our, in our, in our minds, and it has some kind of um, emotional engagement with us of whatever shape or form. Um, so we really keen for thoughtful, diverse, inventive, playful, and of course, serious, well-researched work. But we're always open to surprises and learning new things that break down the perceptions and barriers of what photography is and can be. The benefits of applying to open course, um, there's so many different ones, um, but for something like format, uh, you have the opportunity for your work to be visible to an incredible selection of international jury members. And you can be quite strategic when applying to open course, look at the jury members, look at the people that you want to see your work. And even if you don't get selected, um, open course are a great strategy for visibility. And it's worth to apply for a couple or three within a year um, if you have a body of work that's ready. Don't be disheartened by not getting selected, but if you do, of course, that's wonderful. Um, but often curators, directors and, and people like myself, we are looking, we're talent spotting for ourselves and for our colleagues as well. We have a really great network around the world of, um, you know, that we communicate to each other and we share ideas and we, we cross reference and share links to, to artists. So make sure your website, your Instagram is is updated and make sure you have your contact details on there. So I have subfolders and folders of all kinds of imaginary exhibitions that I'll be organizing in the future that have a whole range of people that I've spotted through open calls and elsewhere. So it's really important to apply to open calls. Open calls are a wonderful place for uh, festivals and, and organizations to spot new talent and find people that we don't otherwise know about. Formats especially open open to um, you know encouraging people from all over the world to apply of all abilities and interests of all genres of photography and beyond. We're really keen to see work that crosses over those boundaries and merges and chops them up and makes them brings them back together again. We're, we're interested in, in kind of proposals for workshops, participatory practice, performative work, um, ways of expanding photography in lots of different ways, but also genuinely down to um, uh, vernacular photography and, and archives. We're really keen and love everything to do with photography in all its shapes and forms. with open calls, um, it's really important to make your artist statement clear and concise. So a great trick and tip, my top tip is to share your statement with multiple people, different levels of understanding of, of, of art and photography, um, share it with a, a young person, share it with your, your, your elder friends um, and, and your colleagues and, and get them to read it and, and get them to tell you what they think it means and clarity of language you don't need to obfuscate you don't need to talk in really complex language unless that's necessary of course but clarity of, of, of language is really important and if if English or another language isn't your first language then um, share it with native speakers and ask them to, to to check it and edit it for you be clear when you when you're sending your images um, give a good overview of what you do um, focus on one project in one submission 
um, but also include sketches or install shots for exhibitions if you're applying for an exhibition, whether it's a mock-up using Word or SketchUp, which is a great free installation um, planning tool. Um, talking about how ideally your layout can be is, is a really good way to think about how to present your work beyond talking about the images and, and also think about what materials and, and the way to present your work, what the best case scenario is. Not all institutions can offer to, to meet those ambitions, but at least as a starting point and you, you can kind of have some degree of control in the way that you articulate how you would like your work to be exhibited as well.